Hello. Welcome to the Fair School Machine Shop tutorial on basic use of the CNC Prototrack. The Prototrack is just like an ordinary mill, except for the addition of a computer-controlled console that allows complicated shapes to be manufactured that would otherwise be difficult or impossible to machine by hand. In this tutorial, we will cover three basic functions of the Prototrack. Holes, profiles, and DXF files. Let's get started. Here we have a one quarter inch stock piece of aluminum. I've already squared the workpiece and zeroed the machine on its center. If you need help with either squaring or centering, see our tutorial on basic mill operations. First, we will program the prototrack to drill a series of holes. Erase the current program, if one exists, by returning to the main menu with the mode key, followed by edit, erase program. Looking at the schematic, we can see that we will require two sizes of drill, a half inch and a quarter inch. Go to the setup menu and enter the tool table function. Add these drills into your tool table by inputting their diameters and selecting drill as the tool type. The Z offset is not used on this type of machine. To begin your new program, return to the main menu and select program. Go to the beginning of your new program. You will now add each hole as a series of events for the prototrack to follow. Add a position drill event with the position drill key. Since our first hole is right in the center of the piece, its x and y coordinates are just 0, 0. Recalling that the half inch drill is the first tool on our tool table, we select 1 for our tool number. Add another position drill event. This hole will be the upper left hole on your schematic, so it will have xy coordinates of minus 0.53 inches and 0.53 inches. To enter negative coordinates, use the plus or minus key next to the keypad. Select tool 2 for the tool number to call the quarter inch drill bit from the tool table. For the next hole, rather than entering its exact position, we can instead command the prototrack to move an incremental amount from its current position. Add another position drill event. Then type 1.06 inches into the X coordinate. This time, instead of pressing absolute set to accept the entry, press increment set. The prototrack now knows the next hole is 1.06 inches to the right of its previous position. Enter the other two holes using either their absolute or incremental position. Once all four holes have been entered, the program is now ready to run. Before running the prototrack, be sure to collapse the handles on the table positioning wheels. Before machining the piece, it's generally a good idea to perform a trial run to check for mistakes in the program. Select Trial Run from the main menu. Make sure that the tool's Z position is well clear of the workpiece. Then, press Go on the prototrack screen, or press the black button on the hand controller. the prototrack will automatically cycle through the process. If the toolpath isn't what you expect, you can return to the editor with the program button and page forward to the offending step. Once you've identified what's incorrect, correct it. Once you have confirmed that the program is ready, run the program by selecting Run and Start. The prototrack will prompt you to load the half-inch drill bit and then automatically move to the position of the first event. 0, 0 in this case. Start the mill and manually drill the holes once the prototrack has positioned the tool. Once each hole is drilled, you can advance to the next event by pressing the black button on the hand control. Be sure to change bits when prompted by the prototrack. Also, be sure to fully withdraw the tool in between holes. The prototrack moves very fast and will break the tools if you're not careful. 